First there was Knight Rider, then came Airwolf. Then we got, but very briefly, Street Hawk. A shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Sorry, that's the wrong show. Injured motorcycle cop Jesse Mack is chosen to test ride a top secret government ultra fast attack motorcycle called Street Hawk to combat urban crime in Los Angeles. He is partnered with Street Hawk's creator Norman Tuttle, who assists Jesse by providing him with real time mission information and assisting the motorcycle during its high speed hyper thrust runs. Their first assignment is to take down sadistic drug smuggler Anthony Corrido who is the reason for Jesse's injury and who also killed his partner. All subsequent episodes show Jesse Mack leading a double life as a police public relations officer by day and a crime fighter by night. Street Hawk is regarded as a lawless vigilante and a public relations embarrassment by the police, especially by Jesse's boss, Captain Leo Altabello, if that's how he say it. Each episode deals with a specific crime or mission, and there are no multi-episode story arcs. So let's take a look at this uh, Street Hawk annual from 1986. And this is mine, I actually received it one Christmas, in 1985 probably. Um, and here we are, and um, this is the inside cover, it's a bit worse for wear. And this is the control panel of um, normal Tuttle. And as you can see, this uh, cost £3.25, which is quite a lot of money back in 1985. So this page just gives a contents page of all of what's to come. Uh, there's 12 chapters of short stories and other bits of information. Uh, you can see it's falling apart from the binder, so uh, that's years and years of uh, wear and tear and probably poor uh, workmanship. Um, so this is a nice uh, close-up of Jesse and his helmet, nice and shiny. And just flicking through there's basically stories going on here. And here we have a nice word search game that I clearly didn't bother with when I was younger, but uh, maybe I'll do that soon. Moving on to the short story. And here's a little game based on the TT races on the Isle of Man. Basically each year motorbikes compete on a set route to see who can go the fastest. Uh, if you're not sure, the Isle of Man is an island in between England and Ireland. And unfortunately each year you do get some deaths in these uh, races. And we've got the Knights of the Hawk. Some nice comic book style illustrations going on there. And you've got your classic comic book sounds like whoosh. Crump. Reminds me a bit of um, 60s TV series version of Batman. That was a good show. Moving on to another short story. All very exciting stuff, I'm sure you agree. Now here we've got a lovely photo of Norman played by I can't remember but I do recall him popping up in different TV shows of the 80s and early 90s uh, I have no idea what he's doing now and uh, here are some clipboard notes of Jesse's um, it's not really that interesting from what I can make out. I guess it's just fitter really for these annuals. And here we have some history of motorbikes and got details about Street Hawk and early motorcycles from the 1900s, stuff like the Harley Davidsons and 
little unknown bikes all going away up to the 1960s and 70s and then we've got another short story all written stuff and we're almost at the end and we're at the end and here another part of normal Tuttle's control console and that is it everyone so thank you for watching and I hope you found this very interesting and and if you do like it please leave a like and comment below and why not subscribe as well and I'll catch you next time thanks for watching goodbye now in street Hawk.